64 degrees. It is Tuesday, and here's what's happening. It's primary day, and the polls are officially open in New York City. Voters will be deciding among the other candidates for the next hour. Hey, Rookie, how's it going today, man? Yeah, it's going good. All right. Hey, Willie. Yeah. I like those shorts. They're real sharp, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Throw a box of dogs. Yeah? Yeah. Do they make them for men, too? <laughs> yes. I'm not the one who puts a gallon of pomade in my hair, if it's a well. Tuesday, September 11th. Color for the day is green. Floor commander is Lieutenant Kazmanis. Control sergeant, you're looking at. Stolzman. Sarge. Post one. Palavito. Sarge. Three. Nice job on Friday. Thanks. Pizzullo. Sarge. Six. Jimeno. Sarge. Three, five. Rodriguez. Yes. Nine. Lieutenant, you got anything? No. Nope. Inspector Fields has something to say. Listen up. Be on the lookout for this girl. Zoe Cowley. Age 11. Runaway out of Rhode Island. Thought to be on a bus coming in this morning. Is this important? Okay. As always, protect yourselves, watch each other's backs. You hear about who Giraldi brought in yesterday? No, who? I'll give you one guess. Oh. He's 300 pounds. Her dress is a trash bag with bugs all over. Ah, uh, Gloria, the naked lady? Oh. Yeah, and Giraldi says she asked you. You love it, huh? It gets your bread. Yeah. You gotta take your crew and your junk out the night. Big country, man. It's my statue. What is it, the statue police? It's a Jackie Gleason statue. It's not a bench. He don't care. He's dead, man. Get out of here. Get out of here.
Sometimes I miss the bus time. What do you got today? Loading docks. Loading docks. Yeah, that shipment come in from uh, Florida. We have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. CNN Center right now. Holy shit. On this story. All of our sources are trying to figure out exactly what happened in there. Clearly, something relatively devastating happened this morning there. We are going to join another one of our New York audience for their flight coverage. Here at the top of this tower, there's a huge gaping hole. Plane still inside. Can you believe this? What schmuck could fly a plane into the Trade Center? Maybe they ran out of gas or something. Yeah, probably did up. Right. I just some joke off about which level the plane is playing. That's not a small plane. Hell no. All right, listen up. Let me have your attention here. They're telling us it's a commuter plane. Power one's being evacuated as a precaution. They've asked us to send a team down to assist. Sergeant McLock. Got to listen names here. Step out when you hear it. We're going downtown. Pull Nicky. Sarge. Call Avito. Sarge. Washington. Sarge. O'Reilly. Sarge. Jimeno. Sarge. Podar. Sarge. Bavley. Sarge. Rodriguez. Sarge. Giraldi. Sarge. Pizzullo. Sarge. Goldsman. Command post, honey, air command post. Field command post. Uh, are there any injuries? Special equipment we got down there. What? Prepared for everything. Car bombs, chemical, biological, an attack from the top. But not this. Not for something this size. There's no plan. We can make it. There could be 50, 60,000 people in there. your ass, McLaughlin will tell you what to do. What is Arch? It was emergency services at the trade tower. He's one of the guys from up the plant after the attack in 93. Anybody knows what to do, Don, it's him.
Check, test them. Massey. Anything more here? Helmets, Scott packs? No, Sarge. Try the E-room near the truck docks in the basement. Jimmy Lynch is there. Thanks. Okay, there's more stuff down on B1, the truck docks. So drop down to concourse, go around one to two, and there's some stairs there. Keep your eyes open, follow me. Don't get separated, okay? No, Sarge, we got plenty here. Our intent floor is filed with fuel. We're gonna be using our bottles. We need them. Sarge, you won't believe this. Your suburban on church? It's gone. Roof smashed in. Stay together and stay focused. Hold on, what are we doing? Sarge wants more stuff. What? Don't worry about it. He knows what he's doing. What the? Don't think. Keep moving. He's a suck. We gotta get up there. You aren't rescuing anybody if you can't breathe, Rodriguez. Stay focused. This way.
BT dogs up in here. Yeah, Chris. Sorry, 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 I'm telling you, we gotta get up. There's a ton of people stuck up there. What's going on? Yeah, I gotta go with you. Sure, Chris. Yeah? We can use you. We need more equipment. Get a tank on. Sorry, hey, Rod. Yo, what's, what's up, Chris? Yeah, what happened to you, man? Huh? What happened to you? Ah, I was carrying this woman out. Something whacked me in the freaking head. Is she okay? Yeah, 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 I got it clear. Hey, hey, Sox, we ain't gonna find any equipment left in one. Coming through. Hey, coming through. Hey, Sox. Sox, thanks a lot. We just got geared down to B1 truck docks next to two. There's a staircase right over there at Ben and Jerry's. I heard they were evacuating from Sox. Must have caught fire from one. I heard two got hit, but there was a second plane. No, Phil's just said one plane, Tower One. Now stay together. Hey, uh, you see the TV? There's a big fire up there. I ain't no TVs down here. You guys hear about the Pentagon? It got hit. A missile or something. Israel? It's gone. It's no. Whole freaking world's coming to an end today, Willie. Yo, Chris. Yeah. Nice timing on that transfer. Yeah, no kidding, right? No, no. Yeah. You stay with the car. The rest of you come with me. Stay safe. Mental, bus terminal. You all right? Yeah. You uh, helping evacuate? Try it. Going up too, you. Uh, up one. Went from Sarge. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a long day. You be all right, kid. A lot of good people here. Okay, we got it now. Tower one. Let's go. Stay together. Lieutenant, I was down on B1. The shaft's there at Buckland. There's going to be people trapping those elevators. Jeez. Just took us an hour to get up to 30 in Tower one. I didn't want us over in two. What happened in two? I don't know. You guys be careful, okay? Yeah, stay safe. Hey, Will. Huh? Let me get that. Uh, thanks. This is A1. We're in the concourse. We got gear and a head into one. A1, A1, negative that. Ronnie, go and take out on Buffley Street. I got a team here. A1, there's something going on with Tower 2. Anybody there? Anyone there? Shut off! Shut off!
They're in a better place, really. All right. What's everyone's situation? A ten. Bad. A ten. I can't move my legs. I think I'm okay. How you doing, Sarge? I, I, don't, I don't think I'm hurt, but I, I can't move. I got some movement here. PPD! Officers, get off! We're below. McLaughlin is down. We're trapped on the concourse level. It's between towers one and two. We're trapped near freight elevator five. Oh, thank God. We're down to the one truck off. Yeah, here you go. Listen to me. Listen to me. It's a fresh year. Got any radio? I smashed. It's not working. All my stuff on the left side, buried. The mic's gone. <laughs> you gotta get this. You gotta get this off of me. Uh, I, I, it's good to see you, though. Hey, hey, hey. You okay? You good? I'm good. We'll get you out. Don't worry about it. We'll get you out. It's working, Sarge. Down the ladder's covered. Good. That's good. How'd you know to run in here, Sarge? The elevator shaft's the strongest part of the building. Oh, Jesus. I think it's happening. Let me take care of you. I guess you have a... Looks like there's light. Maybe some air. Can't get this off on myself, Sarge. Maybe we should go up and get some help. I'm gonna come back for you guys. No! No! We're gonna get him out! We're gonna get him out! Can't catch that one. Come on, man. Don't leave sir. Do me a favor. You can do it. I know you can do it. All right. Look at you, Willie. Right. Look at you. It's me, Willie. Look at me. Stay awake. 
Thank you for three eggs sauce. Yeah, Don. You take a break. I'm tired, really. Nah, no, you're not. Don, stop this. I really try to stay here, guys. Oh, you too, Dan. Close door. <laughs> Does not. You still see the light? Yeah. Yeah! That's not enough. I don't know. Maybe uh, 20 feet up. There's no stuff in the way. What else do you see? Beams, plaster. Associated Press is reporting that a plane or a helicopter crashed at the Pentagon, and the Pentagon is being evacuated. Whether that fire is in the building itself or outside, we have not yet confirmed. This is a live picture of the Pentagon. An Associated Press reporter said uh, he could see the tail of a large airliner as it plowed into the Pentagon, and that fire there in Washington Best. continues to burn. <laughs> So now as we stand here, both towers, the tops of both towers are gone. Oh, I'll sit outside. Behind hmm? somewhere, that plume of smoke will continue to rise. He's probably still at the bus terminal. What is left of those buildings is still in place. It's still in place. Jerry. Al, I'm looking at the tunnel. There's no one there. I guess I got called in. Can someone drive you? Allison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you at home in half an hour. I'll call mom and dad. Uh, we gotta pick up Bianca. But we do know thousands of people were inside those buildings, that the buildings are gone. There are reports that hundreds and hundreds of fire and police and rescue crews are missing, are unaccounted for. Officials seem simply stunned by the scale of the loss. They've shown the same thing over and over and over. Jay's there. They must have called in every company in the city. He would have been there early. And the Jones, too, probably. He knows this building so well. Seen 
this building come down, it looked as though it was imploding. This was complete chaos and utter hell that has come to Lower Manhattan. Oh my God. Judy, listen to me. Listen to me, look. They evacuated those buildings, all right? Well, I'm sure most everybody got out. You're fine. In the 93 attack, John said everybody got out real quick. God, in 93, the buildings did fall down. All right, well, I'm going to pull everybody in council. The dead mother's meeting right now sounds pretty fun, right? I keep looking for John. I see any police on my way there. Maybe I'll see him. Hey, Judy. Jay, uh, <laughs> look, we know he's alive, all right? They know where he is. They're communicating with him. He's alive? Yes. Yeah, we're going to go down there now and help out. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thanks, Dad. That's good. PAPD, 813. Officers Hamel and McLaughlin. We're trapped near the FE5 vestibule. Kidding. Vermont feels like a beach. How's your pain? Heads and waves. Every 20, 30 minutes. Every wave, I feel the pain less. But I'm more numb. The number I get, the more I want to sleep. What's wrong with sleep? I wish I could, so this pain would go away. You're breathing inside well. You sleep, you don't know if you're coming back. You wake, you see the eyes shine. Your brain maybe keeps you alive. That's what I think, anyway. You know that movie, G.I. Jane? What's your name? Yeah, Demi Moore. Yeah. You know the part where the drill sergeant says, Pain is good. Pain is your friend. If you're feeling pain, you're still alive. I didn't see a movie. I keep thinking of that line. Pain is your friend. It means you're alive. We'll make it well. Just don't go to sleep. from all the sun sword? I don't know. Oh, the fire just goes out like that, sword? Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> You're not a big doctor, are you? Uh, no. Well, see, you gotta talk to me, because... Ah! 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 I can't, because my knees are crushed, I can't. That's why I can't fucking talk. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh! 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 Oh!
dog, Will. Come on, breathe. Get your mind right. We go up together. Let me talk to you. Al, it's Brian. I just got in. Hi, Brian. Hello. Listen, they sent Will down on a bus with a bunch of the guys. So he did go down there. Yeah. And, um, and did he go in the buildings? We don't know. Brian, did he go in the buildings or did he not go in the buildings? We're trying to find that out. It's very basic. Did he go in or did he not go in? Bianca, sweetie, I'm sorry. Brian, I... Brian, why don't you tell me what's going on? Okay, Bianca, like this. Come on, come keep her here. I want to... Take care of her, okay? Stay five houses away. Brian? Was it McCoy's was in Florida for a tax scam? He spoke a short time ago from an Air Force base in Louisiana. For some of what the president said. The resolve of our great nation is being tested. But make no mistake. We will show the world that we will pass this test. God bless. We're told the president's plane has flown on, but for security reasons, the government will not say where Mr. Bush is going or for how long. I don't know if you guys know it yet, but this country's in war. Emergency responders are being routed. I spent my best years with Marines. God gave me a gift to be able to help people to defend their country. I feel I'm calling on me now for this mission. Well, I'm ready to see that. City alone. America has changed today. This is a dark day in this country. It shows in bold print the crucial history books that how America was attacked during the continental borders, devastating effects on the coast. Hey, Mom. Come on, sweetie. Ben knows it's my birthday party Saturday jump, right? Birthday? Are you crazy? Of course he does. He's just uh, he's, he's still working to help people because he has to take a trade someday. But they keep saying a lot of those people aren't coming back. Well, I'm not supposed to tell you this, okay? Mm -hmm. But he told me that he was going to take you to the playoffs next year. The playoffs? Are you serious? I'm serious. He has the Yankee playoffs. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew he was Mom, going to. You better come here. Uncle Pat had a deal. If anything happens to one of them, they go and tell the other family. Are you here to tell me something? Don't come in here, Pat. I mean it. Don't you come into this house. Donna, he's not. We don't know. We don't know. They declared him as missing. That's all. He's just missing. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We got confirmation. John went in. Dad. Come on. Dad. Mom's out there. I'll clean you up. Al. Al, 
they tell Bianca that her father's dead. Missing means missing, Ma. It doesn't mean dead. She's so very strong. She's going to be all right. Jerry. Yeah. You gotta call a doctor. Give her something fast. Why? She could lose it. What is happening to this world? It was horrible and vicious act of terrorism, acts of terrorism. And our focus now has to be on saving as many lives as possible. Do we know the number of casualties in this place? I don't, I don't think we, we really want to speculate about that. The number of casualties will be more than any any of us can bear, ultimately. <laughs> Sound like a truck bomb. Like it's 93. Blasted up the lobby. Pushed everything in here. Concourse must have collapsed. You never answered, Sarge. What do we got? How long is this uh, internal bleeding take? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. 24 hours left on her record. Maybe 14, 16. Just all sleep. seven hours? What does that mean? Another seven, eight hours from now? You remember that earthquake? What was it? Turkey? There was a little girl there. She lived four days buried in the rubble like this. She was like three years old or something. If she can make it, we can make it. Maybe we ain't Bleeding so bad inside. Sarge. Yeah. Where? You got any kids? Four. I got four. That's a lot of kids. Yeah. A lot of work for my wife. What are the names? Stephen. He's the oldest. He's 15. Caitlin's 12. Peanut. JJ. He's 10. We got a little girl. Erin. She's four. We had a leg. It wasn't planned. It just it happened. What's that? What's what? What sound? I got a pipe here. Keep doing that. What about JJ's tuition? Huh? It's not easy. It... Why? Did you vomit yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday and today. And today? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a stroke, huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so wait. Yeah, you're supposed to be a stripe. A stripe? Yeah. It's a stripe. Yeah, it's a stripe. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Really? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. saying that as many as 400 police, fire, and rescue teams entered the towers, and there are fears that half of them are missing and feared lost. We are waiting for more on the survivors. There are no clear estimates yet on numbers, but it is clear that many of New York's finest have been lost on this day. These are the so-called first responders who scaled down and rushed into the EMT tower, but yet the survivors... What are we going to do? Mom, let's go get him. Can we just go to the city and find Dad? We don't even know where he is. Are you going to go drive and get him? 
Can't you call someone? The phone's still on. No, there's really nothing we can do. She's worried about your birthday. Can't you stop can't even it? Stop it. He needs us. I know if we just go down there, we can find them. Dad doesn't need you to go Come find on, Mom. Them. Please, 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 please. Stop it. Stop it, stop it for a minute, okay? They'll call when they know something. Okay, Mom, please. She's tough enough on everybody. Come on. You don't really care, do you? JJ, come on. Come back here, kid. Let's go. Yeah. That's right, you know. I don't even remember the last thing I said to John. Take a three-eight socks. Okay. Don't go to sleep. Let me get that. Why? Well, that's what you said to me, Antonio. Will, let me get that. The cart. Yeah, I'll just put some places where it needs. Dom, I made him stay and help me. I told him to stay. Yeah, I begged him. Don't leave me, Dom, please don't leave me. And he stayed. You know, there was time he could have gotten out. And Chris, I could be a cut so bad. And he didn't have to go in. You tell him. You tell him. I took him in. So what? What good do we do? We wanted to go in. Because man had said you were the best. You were the guy who knew everything down here. But Dom, Antonio, and Chris, well, no one was going to stop them from trying to help. We figured might as well follow the best guy in. The best? They did what they had to do, Sarge. They couldn't have lived with themselves if they hadn't gone in. That's who they were. Thank you, Will. Well, this is it. I am gonna see her. Some place better. No, I don't know what you did. I don't know what you did. I love you. I didn't have it. I love you. Give us this day. I'm here. I'm still here.
watching very closely because it was on fire and the danger of collapsing. Moments ago, it did collapse. So that would be the third building in the World Trade Center complex that has collapsed. It's dead. No one knows yet the history of the Guys, not with them. Four thirty, please. Sergeant King speaking. I know it, boys. Not, Not tonight. Come on, it's another day. We're still be talking guys. in half an hour. Okay. Status here. Search has been called off. They say the Marriott's gonna go too until it's all stable. We're out. This whole thing is crap, man. Our guys were in there. They're dying in it. It's like God made a curtain with the smoke, shielding us from what we're not yet ready to see. I know, big. You put the plywood here, you put the saw here, nice and easy, right? You don't force anything, all right? You want to try again? Don't force it, nothing easy. You never told me your wife's name. It's Donna. Donna. That's a good name. It's real American, you know? Mine's Allison. She's Italian. That's a German. Don't get her mad. Uh, she's a loud one. Donna can go by her. She wants a new kitchen. I'm okay carpenter, so. I'm building her one. There's no cabinets right now. She's pissed. So, I gotta get out of here. Donna's, she's, I married the right one, you know? Yeah, I know. Me too. Tell me about your wife. Well, she's a, uh... Five months pregnant. Now, it's gonna be a girl. I already got one, Bianca. She's four.
biarkan yang gila ada name yang tidak ada name yang mereka so when I get the chance to listen listen Alyssa <laughs> kids are gonna love that name Alyssa the pisser Olivia, Olivia sounds like I'm here. Hey, Olivia. Olivia and Nanama. I'm naming the baby Alyssa. That's what Will wanted. What? I want to take him to prescription. What prescription? The doc called in a prescription for you, honey. You know, for the baby. So we gotta have it on hand, just in case. In case what? In case you need it, honey. You know? I'll go with Jerry. No. I'm not Stay sitting here, here waiting for a call that the Will's dead. I'm coming too. What are you doing here? Oh, you all right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> the Will could be never coming home. I'm walking around CVS like there's nothing wrong. You said you want to get out of the house. You, you, your cell phone. Yeah. I left it. Karen, you have your cell phone? Karen. I forgot it. Yeah. We left the house with no phone? Such. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the morning. I feel like. No. I feel like. No. You die. I'm gonna die. Okay? You die. I'm just gonna die. Well, then you can't die either. Sounds good. But, but in case I. I think you do me a favor. What's that? Can you put it out over the radio? That I request my daughter to be named Olivia. And tell him to tell Allison that I love her. And that she should name my daughter Olivia. Thirteen. This is McLaughlin. PAPD. Office of Mouth. Request his daughter be named Olivia. Officer Jimeno would like his wife, Allison, to know he loves her. Better to that. Please tell my family I love her very much.
JJ, what are you doing? I told you before. Sue, get out of the car. No. JJ, get out of this car. No. Now. Don't say no to me. What's wrong with you? Don't you want to find him? Yes, I want to find him. What is nothing that we can do? There is nothing we can do. We never see him again. All right, I'll go. Get out. I said I'm going. Now come on. You want some tuna without the bread? Have to eat something. The baby's going through this too, honey. How about a waffle? Yeah, but they should throw it up. I could cook us a macaroni. No, that's okay. No, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put the aunt to bed. Baby. Is Daddy coming home? Granny. I don't know. You heading in too, double dog? We'll recon the area. The target. The best shot is going up. All right. If someone says stop, you don't stop. You don't hear him. There's no going back. What's up? Thomas. Burns. Sarge. John. Yeah. The most amazing thing just happened. I saw Jesus. And you know what? <laughs> he had a bottle of water. <laughs> and I, I could have drunk it, you know? But I didn't drink it. He's telling us something, Sarge. He's telling us to come home. So 
Don't sleep on me, John. No. Things keep me alive. Keep talking. You remember Starsky and Hutch? When I was a kid, it was on the TV. Remember the theme song? <laughs> when that would come on, I'd run around the house and arrest my sister Karen. <laughs> Took me six years to be a cop. The only thing I ever wanted to be was a cop. How long have you been in? 21 years. That's a lifetime. You're one tough guy, Sergeant. I don't smile a lot. That's why I'm not pretend. People don't like me because I don't smile a lot. Whatever, whatever. That's it. You got it. He got Frank Sinatra over here. If you can hear me, yell or tap. Remember what you said? You sleep, you ain't coming back. You gotta come back, cause we're getting out of here. Sarge. John McLaughlin. If you can hear me, yell or tap. Can you hear me? Are you sleeping? in hell. How about that, John? Pie. Keep crying. Sister in Pittsburgh. 
It's me. I'm at the Trade Center. Yeah, emergency command. You got an exact location on that? Great, yeah. Guys, I got two Port Authority cops found in the middle of the rubble. They're still alive. <laughs> Couldn't kill they him. found him. <laughs> He's trapped, but they're digging him out right now. No. He's the toughest son of a gun I know. He's made of rocks, is he not? <laughs> He's coming home. Come on, let's go. <laughs> working out. I can't keep up with you here. <laughs> Service unit. What do we got? How many down here? Two down here? Uh, Port Authority cops. First one's down about 20 feet. Pretty bad shape. The second one's even deeper. It's a tough hole to get down, but uh, they're in there. And they're alive. All right, we gotta hold them off, Pat. All right, listen up. I don't wanna make any sudden moves. All right, this whole thing's like a pile of pickup sticks. Is there any FD up here? The FD up there. Ed, Ed, yeah. Go back to church. Get the fire department up here. Captain Yee on the radio. Captain Yee on the air. Captain, Captain Scott Strauss. I got two cops here buried in the rubble. Right in the pile near the globe. I need equipment and manpower. Also get FD up here. Force with him, we're gonna burn. I need a paramedic. Who here's a medic? Used to be. Used to be. Jesus Christ. Come on, I need a paramedic here. My license lapsed. I had a few bad years. But I know what I'm doing. Good. You know this whole thing could collapse on our heads and kill us? Okay. What's your name? Chuck, it's Rico. Scott. Come on. All right. Hey. I've seen the way to one of them. Yeah. It's real tight, Scott. Hey. You're never going to get down there with all that gear, buddy. Let's try this. Marine K bar. That's a knife over there. Thanks. You got a name, Marine? Staff Sergeant Carnes. I need something a little shorter. Staff Sergeant. You all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my wife is Pat Strauss. Tell her and my kids that I love them. Okay? You ready? Let's go. John McLaughlin. Mrs. McLaughlin? Yes. He's alive, but I'm afraid there's been a mistake. Mistake? When they called me, they really thought John walked out. He didn't. He's still trapped. They're working on it. Is he hurt bad? I'm sorry, Miss McLaughlin. It's too dangerous. Where are they taking him? Bellevue. Thank you. Thanks. Where do we take him when we get him out? Triage on Mount Liberty. And what's the status of McLaughlin? He's further down. We're still working on him. Easy, easy. Oh, 
Four on three. We need a light down here, fast. Just hold him. He's stable. But he's swelling and he's getting cold. Howdy! Get some of the carpet, will you? Hey, will it? Skinny. What do you want? Well, wife's a great cook. She better be. I gotta bring her 20 people to that barbecue you're giving for me. Steady! They say they can't control the bias. Building four and five might come down. I like a little pressure, right? <laughs> Sets and all is getting killed. You're gonna fly up that slab and get him out of here yourself? I've been in that rehab for years. Finally figured out the only thing I've ever been good at is helping people. We're doing this together. I ain't leaving. I don't mean to break up the moment. We're all getting out here together. Come on. Got water. Got water. Who the hell's that? I told you. That was my partner. Hey, John. I told you he was your partner. I'm almost out, okay? They're coming soon, I promise. Okay, well. Who's that? Parkland. Scott Strauss, CSU. How you doing? Okay. Need water. Yeah, we hear you. When we get Will out, uh, we're coming for you. Can't get anything to you down there right now, John. There's just no room. This guy, he's gonna die if you don't get him out soon. And the only thing in the way is my leg. I want you to cut it off. Just cut it off. I can live without a leg. Okay. I'm not cutting your leg off. I can't. You're coming out in one piece. You hear me? God. Look, it's my leg. I'm just juice me up and cut it off. If he dies, I die. That's just the way it is. Look, Will, your partner must be 20 feet deep, probably more compacted than you. Even if I cut your leg off, He's not gonna get out of there for hours. Sorry, man. Now let me do my work. All right, we're going again. Hi. Um, ma'am. Um, this is Allison Jimeno. She's Will Jimeno's wife. I'm his sister. We were told he was coming here. We're asking all the family members to please wait in the cafeteria. It's over there through the doors. I can't go in there. Come on, we'll find someplace else, honey.
well. Well done. Glory to Him. Five, man. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to do whatever I can to get you out of here, all right? It's tight, little. All right. Just send it back. All right. He's find a place to put three. Louis, bring it back. I got an elevator shaft here. Really? All right, yeah. I'm going to leave you. Bring the sword, little guy. Slabs on your chest. The only way we're going to get you out of here, right? I got the big one. I got the little one. My God, we got one more. Come on, brother. We got the chest for you. We got to get the south. Jojo. Yeah. I was trying to get a paramedic down here. We got to get back to now. Okay. All right. We're going to need a paramedic down here now. All these years, I've been so careful. Now I screw up. I'm sorry. Did I ever love you enough? 
went and, and went, did I love you, God? But that was first day. <laughs> what the hell happened? I think we had each other. Just in the moments. It happens to most people, I guess. Me with the kids and you with the department. Somewhere along the way. I guess we kind of start looking at each other. I can't. I can't get out of here. Honey, the kitchen's not even finished yet. Okay. If you get off the kitchen, it's just necessary. I'm stuck. Then get unstuck. Get off your ass, John. Just get up and come home. John, I can't. I, I... Shit, isn't it? If it's gonna be bad, you just wanna know it. No bullshit. That's right. After taking my husband out for fighting in the rubble. Yeah, that's good. My son's down there, Lawrence. He's our elevator operator in the South Tower. A good boy. When I saw that building going down like a pancake. dinner and he got held up at work so he learned to race. Oh, no. No, all I want to do is hold him. I know. I know. Um, I know. I know. I'm so close. I know. I 
will keep me alive. From Wisconsin? Yeah, those bastards. We had to do something. You want a brat? Highest brat you'll get in the whole world. That's a guarantee you can take the bank, mister. Yeah, sure. What are you doing down here? Paramedic. Good men out there to avenge this. Let's see. The men just got out. Laughlin's still in surgery. Still missing 14. What do we do? Thousands of people in here, Pat. Where the hell are they? showed us what human beings are capable of. The evil, yeah, sure. But it also brought out the goodness we forgot could exist. People taking care of each other. For no other reason than it was the right thing to do. It's important for us to talk about that good, to remember. Because I saw a lot of it that day. Olivia, you coming? 